Civic Center downtown, it is busy. And joining us today, the CEO of the Veterans Memorial Civic and Convention Center, Abe Ambrosian. Thanks for coming. You bet. Thanks for having me. I love it because we have a wide variety of events, as usual, trying <laughs> yes. to get, you know, families and everyone else together. And let's start with Bluey because... Kids love that show, and, and I'm sure parents are excited to have this here. Everyone's excited about Bluey. Uh, we've got it on a Sunday afternoon. Um, we've only got a couple hundred tickets left, oh, so wow. it's uh, it's been very popular and selling very well. Uh, and it, it really is just a great little show. It's a cute show. Um, it's, it's Disney. It's tailored towards a, a younger kid, and uh, it's a lot of fun. The live show is just a lot of fun, and it's very popular, so we, yeah, we're really happy to have it. All right, and that's coming up soon, so that's October 29th. Yeah, so yeah, get your tickets now since it, there's not it, many. Yeah, right now. Okay, all right. <laughs> Mean Girls. This is a good Broadway show you guys got. Yeah, this was a big win for us to be able to get Mean Girls. You know, everywhere it's going, it's doing week-long stays. So to be able to get it for a single night is, uh, you know, it's just a it's a huge accomplishment accomplishment for us. So we're really happy that we have it. It's a it's a great show. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. It, you know, there's a little bit of message there, but it, you know, it's 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 Broadway, and it's just a fantastic Broadway show. Tina Fey and that that humor that you know mm -hmm. that comes with anything she does. It's a it's a fantastic one. So really excited about that, and tickets are selling really well for that one right. too. And that is on a Sunday too, November twelfth. So yeah, that so works it, out nice it, it's too. It's a perfect day, you know, to to get out of the house and, and come see a Broadway performance. All right. So we just started running the commercials for this. We've got CeeLo Green coming to town. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it, it depends on your age and how you know CeeLo. You know. <laughs> You know, That's true. Good point. Maybe you know him just from CeeLo. Maybe you know him as Narles Barkley. Maybe you know him, you know, from The Voice. The Voice. Uh, but, you know, he's he's a fantastic performer. He also does some James Brown music, and he does it really well. Oh. You know, if you're going to do James Brown, you got to be able to do it, and he That's can do true. it. So it's uh, really excited to have him on our stage. That's going to be a, a highly energetic night. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's another one. I say it's going to be fun, but it is. You know, theater's fun. Live entertainment's fun. Get out of the house and come see CeeLo Green. Exactly. I mean, there's nothing like seeing live music, live show right there. You it know? does so much for you. It really mm -hmm. does. It, it, you know, that, that adrenaline boost and just everything else that it does for you, that mental well-being. And just, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of fun. Live entertainment is good. All right. And that's November 17th, so buy your tickets now for that. Yeah, tickets are moving pretty well for that one, too. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you can still get great seats. You can still get close to CeeLo Green, uh, but it's starting to in here and there so uh, but the thing about the Civic Center is there's not a bad seat it's not like it's a huge stadium you know yeah it's, it's a nice uh, atmosphere right there yeah that's true so I mean if a show is selling fast you can still you know and you're afraid oh I'm way back in the balcony or way over on the side okay. you're fine mm -hmm. um, but you know what that does sometimes that gets people to wait too long because they know they're gonna get a great seat okay that's a good point too <laughs> yeah so don't wait that long get the seats now <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, you know, someone like CeeLo, I mean, I, he's a celebrity. I think, you know, a lot of people do want to get close to him. And so we're starting to see that, you know, they want to be as close to him as possible to, you know, the fact that we've got him here. All right. So now we're kind of getting to the holidays, right? Is Daniel O'Donnell, is that doing a Christmas show or is he just doing a show? No, he's, yeah, it's not a holiday show. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, he's been here before a couple years ago and, uh, you know, a really talented performer. A lot of people don't know him. If you're not watching, he's he's on PBS, I think, about once a month or so. Mm -hmm. um, and he does, he does a great job. He does it's kind of like an Irish Celtic uh, slash um, I, I'm not thinking of the words right now but uh, he, he's a great singer he's a great entertainer and it's, it's perfect for the whole family to, to come out and see him perform as well perfect timing too because you're wondering what do we do with everyone that they came for Thanksgiving this would be a good thing that's yeah and that's what we we saw the last time he was here the day after Thanksgiving the last time he was here too and that's what we heard from a lot of people like we had family from out of town we were looking for something to do and this was the perfect thing to do so mm -hmm. make that your plan all right okay so a Christmas Carol that is just holiday classic and that's coming to the Civic Center it's my favorite Christmas story I think it's almost everyone favorite Christmas mm -hmm. story it's it's other than the Christmas story of course <laughs> um, and you know it's yeah it's just a classic we, we've this is the same show we brought in two years ago we're trying to do that build that with the agency that this is an uh, you know every other year um, okay. tradition that we can bring to Lima they do mm -hmm. a great job and it, we're able to keep the price pretty low so it's it's affordable for the family to come and see that show all right now do we have a couple com comedians coming up or is this only one is Rodney Rodney's a Rodney comedian. Carrington's a comedian the other one's Martin, Martin Sexton yeah. so Martin Sexton I, I'm glad you said it that way too <laughs> yes. who's Martin <laughs> if, you, if you don't know Martin Sexton I'm telling you trust me good Google him and, and watch his videos, but that's not going to do it justice. We're talking about live entertainment. He is truly one of the best live performers there is. He had a concert where there was a weird noise coming from an air handler, and he basically just like changed the tune that he was doing with his guitar to make that air handler part of his music. Really? He's, he's insanely talented. His live performances are incredible. Um, if you if you listen to the people that are fans of Martin Sexton, they're going to tell you, you've got to go. If you've never seen him live, trust me, you've got to go. And this is one of those where I know I want you to come to all of our shows. 
If you're just going purely on trusting what Abe Ambrosa says, come see Which Martin Sexton. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. He's incredible. So is he a variety of genres? Singer-songwriter. Okay, he, all right. He's singer-songwriter. So, um... Not Dave Matthews, but you know, kind of you know, in that area. Uh, okay. Maybe Ray Lamontagne, if you know Ray Lamontagne music, you know, he's he's in that folksy singer songwriter right. uh, genre and just incredibly talented. All right, and that is oh, that's in January, January twelfth. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, and then comedy. Everybody loves that. Come on, tell yeah. us more. Rodney Carrington, we've had him in Lima. Lima loves him. You know, we love to bring him here. He's uh, he's got an edgy comedy. You know, this we've talked a lot about a lot of things that are good for the whole family. This one's probably This is not. mature audiences, yeah. um, but you know he he is hilariously funny and uh, love to have him here in Lima, Ohio. And uh, we almost sell out just about every time we have Rodney in town. So uh, love have, being able to add him to our summer or our season schedule. Yeah, exactly. So he's in January too, and of course. Go to the Civic Center to get the tickets so you don't get scammed or anything like that. Getting the right price. <sighs> yes, always go to LimaCivicCenter.com. It can be tricky if you just do Rodney Carrington, Lima, Ohio. It's going to look like it's our website. Don't do it that way. Go to our website, LimaCivicCenter.com, to make sure you get the right tickets and the right price. All right. Thanks, Abe, for coming. You bet. Thanks for having me. All right. Don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.